It's been a resurgent season for the SFU clan football team, and a major part of the turnaround can be attributed to the Delorier family. Father Lou is the clan's defensive coordinator, while his two sons, Anthony and Mark, play under his tutelage. The coach-father relationship presents unique challenges for all involved. Having my dad as the coach, it makes me have to try that much harder, just because I feel like I just can't stand when people would say things like, oh, they're playing because their dad's the coach kind of thing. So I just make sure that it's obvious that uh, I deserve to be playing and that I've done everything necessary to play. You try and make it so that it's definitely not a favoritism thing. So, But one of the things that's been really good is... Uh, is how they respond to it. They understand that uh, there's a separate uh, part of it. There's, you know, there's uh, you and the coach relationship, and it's you and your dad. So if I say something, a coaching point to to one of these guys, they'll be like, "Yes, coach," just like any other guy, and they'll call me coach on the field. Because I've learned to deal with the, the different dynamics, we have kind of father to son talks, and then and then coach talks. So it's always nice to just be able to see your dad every day which is awesome, and, and to talk to him talk to him about, about anything because he's just right there down, just down the hall. Lou was a CIAU and CFL legend, but the father of four didn't pressure his children to pick up his sport of choice, rather allowed them to make their own decisions when it pertained to athletics. I knew sort of sports was going to be something that they were probably going to do. Lou was big on making sure that he didn't push them to do any sport, but what he was hoping that if we, we figured if we exposed them to a lot of different sports, they would figure out which one they wanted. So even though we put them in all the other sports, you know, they played soccer right through till high school, and uh, they played basketball, and they played softball, and both of them played lacrosse. Um, in the end, they sort of, all the other ones sort of eventually went by the wayside. Um, they did both play basketball right through till grade 12, but after that, um, you know, football is the one that stuck. The brothers, only 17 months apart in age, have developed a unique relationship, part sibling rivalry, part best friends. Their bond has led to athletic success on the field. I think it definitely helped me develop quicker because I'd always had my older brother to compete with and we were just always incredibly competitive as kids. So yeah, just like going against an older, an older player who was who always one of the more talented players on the team and practicing with him every day definitely helped me. I, I consider us more kind of the same instead of me being older, just because we have the same experience. And uh, if anything, he's do he has more experience than me right now. Um, so I just, I, if I see something that I can help him with, I do it. If he sees something that he can help me with, he helps me. So it works out well. 